Okay. And so, basically, I think the collaboration between Karen and I is really interesting because she's a theorist and I'm a filmmaker, and our relationship is around third cinema. And we were kind of a unique team to really work on the theme of chaos and control because we started with Alex Juhasz's essay on participatory um, pleasures um, in about YouTube. And in looking at that piece, for us, it was really interesting that, that when we looked at YouTube, we felt like it was not something where we could like disdain what existed in YouTube. As intellectuals and political media makers, we needed to work with the content that was there and be able to engage in relationship with the content and engage in relationship with the people that we're in community with. And so um, we, um, I think a lot of our aesthetic was like an update of like the um, Gatino and Solanus's piece, um, Third Cinema, um, that Third Cinema classic, like the, the in, uh, what was it called, the, the, the Inferno's piece. Um, but I think one of the things that was very kind of powerful about that was that every person who watched that piece wasn't just a spectator. Um, in, in contrast, they were an actor and an engagement in being able to take back their media system. And I think that's very similar to our approach with making this piece, was that in culling and salvaging the material that we found in YouTube, we wanted to encourage people not only to continue the conversation, but continue to make media, because that's fundamentally um, the, the place of engagement and the place of kind of continued um, uh, kind of resistance around such corporate media space. So, so you mentioned that all the material is taken, obviously is taken from YouTube, and there's so much content on YouTube. So how did you go about editing and deciding what particular piece to take? Um, you know, it, it was, I mean, we, we probably went through about 20 to 25 clips, and we, we kind of did, we, what we did is we actually searched on memes. We searched on revolution, we searched on freedom, we searched on self-determination, we surfed on just, justice, and we surfed on um, intellectuals. And so we looked within all of that body of work, and then we tried to find intersections that made sense between our conversation. And um, I think finding that external piece was like a great framework for us, because it was really looking at what is the role of the intellectual in terms of theory and practice. And I think, you know, in looking at perpetu, there is really no other um, greater example of what it takes to be an intellectual engaged in practice than having to engage in YouTube and be able to make it liberatory. <laughs> like, that's, a, that's a very difficult thing to do and I think that was one of the things that we were really excited about taking on in a really kind of profound way. Do you want to maybe talk a little bit about the title of the piece and where it came from? Yeah, the title is a direct reference to Alex's Juhas's, um section on YouTube. The and she like um, has a juxtaposition between um, a video of kittens and then um, you know a piece that references third cinema. And so we took that um, as our our starting point. But I think for us also that you know for us as um, political and um, uh, and I guess seekers of truth and seekers of kind of liberation that for us, our pleasurable um, context in YouTube was to keep finding revolutionary nodes of engagement. And so in addition to like the Eric Kitty, we're still gonna look up um, Angela Davis or you know, in my case, I'm also untouchable. And so I'm always looking up like untouchable um, uh, traditions or protests because it's never really covered in terms of the mainstream media, but like we put our own media, we put our own context. And I think that was like another big part of our conversation was that <clears throat> barcodes and the tracking of media are really what allow um, cultural products to be seen as profitable. But YouTube is filled with media that's not considered profitable. Like there's definitely like, you know, another avenue of, dis of distribution for copyrighted material, but for stuff that's like calling, that's fallen out of favor with capital, like old media catalogs, or in my case, like old Bollywood films, or um, stuff that's like political protests, there's a way that that stuff can have a new life in kind of critical re-engagements and critical aesthetic um, entanglements with those works. Um, at the end there, you use a Deleuze quote uh, about theory. Could you just speak to that a little bit about uh, how you feel that plays in? Yeah, I mean, 
I mean, it's it's a, it's it's once again from this really interesting animated clip that um, is an animated uh, treatment of the famous kind of Foucault Luz, um transcript about the role of the intellectual in practice and power, and um, I, I we felt like it was a really great kind of um, bookend to our conversation, um, particularly because. It, I think that it's right. Like, if we're media makers and we're theoreticians talking about media and we have a disdain for what's in YouTube, then um, our theory of media work is essentially worthless. And so um, you don't revise a theory, you construct new ones. And I think similarly, as a third cinema practitioner, you don't, um, you don't revise your practice of third cinema. You go to where the people are and you go to where the media is. And so I think for us, this was very much our choice to be able to be invested in combat in this sphere and um, and kind of throw out like a rallying call. What about the duration? How did you decide on the length of the film? Um, you know, it, that, that, was, that was something that just kind of came from the structure and the, the process. Like, the arguments took as long as they needed and then we kind of got in and got out. We weren't, it wasn't something that was very kind of specifically engaged as much as we wanted to adhere to your guidelines. So it was no more than five minutes. But, you know, um, uh, I think theoreticians take a long time to talk. So <laughs> after calling, like, you know, 20 different clips and finding where we could weave these particular sets, I was, we were actually pleasantly surprised that it came in so tightly. Well, I really enjoyed your presentation. Yeah. I think everybody here did. Um, yeah. Does anybody want to add anything before we say goodbye? Well, thank yeah. you thank so you. much for an excellent presentation. Oh, yeah. thank you. Thank you guys for having us, and thank you for the conversation. It really opened up a bunch of doorways for our work. Um, Carr and I are actually collaborating on a digital humanities book about the history of third cinema in response to a collective that I ran, which is uh, called Third World Majority, which is one of the first women of color collectives in the country. And so this has really been the summer of third cinema for us, and it's been really exciting to think about it in relationship to YouTube and invigorating the material there. So it was really a pleasure. So thank you. Well, we'd love to get hold of that book once it's published. So <laughs> <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Definitely. Sending us the information. Okay, thanks again. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.